In this video, we'll have a look at e-filing in the T3 module. Let's have a look at a return. I'm in a T3 module now. Uh, it is a 2021 trust return. And on the info tab, we see there's three e-file options here. There's e-file the T3 return, and that one's checked yes. Then below it is T3 RCA and T3 M. These are the three types of returns that can be electronically filed from profile. We can see that there's no override here. Profile has moved this to e-file the T3 return. So it's determined that there are no e-file exclusions. So I can go to T3 e-file. The exclusions are here. So if it's yes for these, then you won't be able to e-file. Notice now um, you can e-file a return if there's a balance owing and if there's uh, beneficiaries and slips have to be filed. So this is uh, new from the XML filing. Let's go back to the e-file. So you need your CRA e-file number entered just like you would for the T1, T2, and now the T3. So once I've have that entered, I've got the return. There's no warnings in the auditor. It's all ready to file. I can go up to the e-file menu. And then there's transmit return uh, for those filing to Quebec, uh, we can notice here there is no transmit to TP646, only the T3. Uh, the TP646 still has to be paper filed. What I do here then is select the type of return I'm filing. So this is a T3, and if I have to, I can adjust the screen, and I'm ready to file. If I click Start, Profile will send this return to CRA. So this is what the the e-file setup looks like in Profile. I just want to mention here that Profile does have community resources. So we have this file, a T3 return article, and it kind of summarizes everything and links to information about specific topic. There's more Profile support options on our website. It's profile.intuit.ca. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for viewing it.